learners, I am Teacher Mayra, your virtual science teacher. Today, we are going to center our discussion on atoms and its subatomic particles. But first, here are the most essential learning competencies that we need to deal with. Number one, describe the atom and its subatomic particles. Number two, determine the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons in an atom. Number three, determine the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons in cations and anions. Number four, illustrate how the subatomic particles are distributed in an atom. Are you ready to explore our science lesson? Come, let's learn about atoms! Let us first walk down memory lane on the time that atom was yet to discover. 2,500 years ago, Leosippus and his disciple Democritus began the search of finding what makes up nature. Democritus believed that any piece of matter can be divided and subdivided into very small particles and at some point, it will reach the time that it could not be further divided. He called this particle atomus, a Greek word which means indivisible. But what really is an atom? Atom is the smallest unit of matter that retains the identity of the substance. Atoms are the basic building blocks of matter. Everything on Earth is made up of atoms, even the air and your body. Atom basically has two regions. The nucleus, which is the center of the atom, contains most of the mass of the atom. And the electron cloud that surrounds the nucleus takes up most of the space of the atom. Let's take a closer look at atoms and its subatomic particles. Can you name and identify the different subatomic particles? The negatively charged particles are called electrons which can be found outside the nucleus of an atom in the region called the electron cloud. The nucleus is where you can find the positively charged protons and the neutrons which have no charge. Both protons and neutrons are responsible for the element's mass number. This time, let's talk about atomic number and atomic mass. This is an example of periodic table of elements. All known elements can be found in here. An element is categorized based on its atomic number. Let's take carbon as an example. In the periodic table, you can find the following information. The atomic number, the element's name, the element's symbol, and the atomic mass. The atomic number of carbon is 6 which is equal to the number of protons. That means, carbon atom has 6 protons. The elements can be identified by their atomic numbers. Every atom has a unique atomic number. They are arranged in increasing atomic number in the periodic table. The element's atomic mass can be found at the bottom. Concept check! Refer to the periodic table to answer the following questions. What is the atomic number of beryllium? Give the number of protons in a sodium atom. What is the atomic mass of oxygen? Now, let's determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons given the atomic number and mass number. This figure shows a shorthand notation where you can derive the element symbol, mass number, atomic number. 
Take note that the atomic number is the number of protons in an atom. Atomic mass is the weighted average number of protons plus neutrons of all the isotopes of an atom. We shall have a different discussion about isotopes. Mass number, on the other hand, is the number of protons and neutrons of a specific type of an atom. Let's use again the element carbon as an example. What will be its shorthand notation? Very good! But how do we know the number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom? Remember, the mass number is the number of protons plus neutrons. So in order to get the number of neutrons, we use the formula mass number minus atomic number. Try answering this. Fill in the table with the needed information. How do we determine the number of electrons? In a neutral atom, which has no charge, the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons, meaning the charge is zero. The atomic number of carbon is 6. Its mass number is 12. The number of protons is equal to 6. For the number of neutrons, that's 6. And the number of electrons is also 6. But what if the atom has a charge? If an atom has a charge, it is called ion. Ion is an atom or group of atoms that have electrical charges. Remember that inside the atom, there are two things that have electrical charges. The protons and the electrons. An ion does not have the same number of electrons and protons. When an ion gain or lose electrons, the numbers don't balance anymore. It can either have a positive or negative charge. Let's take sodium as an example. The number of protons and electrons at the nucleus of an atom is equal means the net charge is zero, or the atom is said to be neutral. Now what if the sodium atom loses electron? Will the charge still be zero? No, the charge will be positive one, because it loses the outer electron called the valence electron, and it becomes a cation or a positive charge atom. But what happens when an atom gained electrons? Take a closer look at this oxygen atom. A neutral oxygen atom has 8 electrons and 8 protons. If it gained 2 electrons, what will be the charge of the oxygen atom? That is correct! Negative 2. There will be 8 protons and 10 electrons. The oxygen atom is now called an ion, a negatively charged atom. Let's try this practice exercise. Aluminum has an atomic number of 13 and mass number 27. If the charge of aluminum is 3 negative, find the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Good job! And that wraps up our episode for today. I am Teacher Myra. Always remember, learning science is fun. See you again next time. Bye!